today we're going to be making high protein peanut butter balls. I'm going to be running with you guys exactly what uh, ingredients we're going to be using, um, and I'll go through everything over today. So these ones, usually when you see high protein peanut butter balls or high protein balls, they're not really high in protein. Like each one maybe has like three or four grams, like if that. So these ones that I'm making today are going to have about six to eight grams, depending on how big they are and how small they are. So it's going to be way more beneficial for you to be able to have these and snack on them as opposed to having ones that say they're high in protein, but they're not really. So I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come on and come and watch this. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, make sure to ask, and I will go through all the ingredients I'm going to be using today. It's really simple. You don't need a food food processor. Food processor. You don't need anything like that. Literally, all you need is uh, just a couple of household ingredients that you're mostly going to have. Most people have protein powder. Most people have cacao. So it's, I want to make this as simple as possible because you want to be able to do this whenever you can, right? Like you don't want to. Um, take forever to be able to do it. So I want to be able to make it quick. I want to be able to make it easy without, hey, Justine, how you doing? Uh, no, they're not veg. Actually, yeah, they, they can be vegetarian if you use peanut butter and if you use a pea protein instead of a normal protein powder, you can make them vegetarian. So that's the only thing, like the only thing that's not going to be is uh, the uh, protein powder that I'm using. It's just a whey protein isolate. So if you're not going to use that, you can use the vegetarian one instead, which is like a pea protein, a hemp protein, or anything like that. So you can make this definitely vegetarian friendly. But today, we're going to be using things that aren't going to be all vegetarian. So I'm going to be two seconds, guys. I just need to pick up the other couple of things. So while you're hanging out, if you have any other questions in the meantime, post them in the comments. I'm going to start this video in about, I don't know, about a minute or two to see if anybody else pops in. Um, and so yeah, so just give me two seconds to grab what else I need to grab. All right, cool. So let's, um, you know what, I'll tell you what, I'll just get it started right now. And if anybody else wants to join in in the meantime, we'll, we'll see how we go. I'm just actually going to pull up the Facebook comments that are coming in. Okay, so I'll start off with it right now, guys. Hey, Jared, what's going on? Um, so what we're going to be doing is there's a couple of ingredients I'm going to run through. And like I said, Justine, if you want to try something different, you definitely can. So the first ingredient I'm going to be using is my protein powder, okay? So I've actually got true protein powder, but you can use any one you want. And the one I've chosen today is vanilla. Now, I'm going to be using three scoops of vanilla protein powder for this. And then the next thing I'm going to be using is a little bit of our cocoa powder. So cocoa powder, I'm going to be using two, um, what are they called? Two teaspoons of cocoa powder. I'm going to be using coconut flour, all right, so coconut flour, I've just got an organic brand one here, a couple of teaspoons of that, I have got, now you can use peanut butter, which is what I would suggest, but I've actually got a high protein peanut butter that I picked up, um, But and this is actually a chocolate flavor too, but any type of peanut butter you want. I've also got a little bit of honey, you can substitute honey for stevia, and the last thing I've also got is some chocolate. So you guys can see here, some dark chocolate. Now these are gonna be really good. They're really filling and you can make a lot of them. So basically there's some really basic ingredients you guys need. There's not much more than that. I'm gonna post them in the comments below so you guys can actually have a look. And so might as well just get started. Now the first thing you wanna do is put your protein powder in a bowl. I'm gonna be using three scoops of vanilla protein powder today and I'm gonna add that to the bowl. Now once you've added your protein powder, you want to add two tablespoons of your coconut flour, okay? So two tablespoons, measure it out. Two tablespoons of coconut flour. A little bit more. And then you want to add one to two teaspoons, depending on how much you like your cocoa. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of my cocoa without getting cocoa all over the place, hopefully not. And so after I've added my two teaspoons of cocoa powder, as you guys can see, so I've got three ingredients in there, and all you're going to do from there is just mix it all together first of all. just so it all kind of gets mixed and saturated together. Now these are gonna make a fair few balls depending on how many. So the bigger, obviously the bigger you make them, the um, 
the less there's going to be and the smaller you make them. So it depends on how many calories you want too. I would suggest if you want to maintain, if you want to keep calories low, just um, make smaller batches. But if you want to make bigger ones like I like to, then make bigger ones. It's all up to you. And these ones are way better because they're not full of artificial preservatives and crap like that. They're easy to do, and like I said, they're higher in protein. When you look at the average high pro like high protein balls, they're like four grams. So these ones are going to be about, depending on the size. Like I said, the bigger you make them, the more it's going to be. So these ones can actually be up to like ten grams pro protein ball. So as you can see now, after mixing all this in, the colour's starting to change a little bit. It's getting a bit darker since I've started adding that in. Now once I've done that, I'm then going to add just a little bit of honey, okay? So pretty much this is gonna be a binding agent, which is why I use honey, but you can use stevia if you want. So with the honey, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna even show you guys how I do this, right? So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit all the way around. You guys can see that. It's not even much, you know, maybe it's like two teaspoons of honey, if that. And that just adds the sweetness to it too. So once you've got that, Sorry, I'm just trying to get all this off. Once you've got the honey added, same type of thing, you just mix it through again. Because you want that honey, you want that sweetness, but you also want it to be a binding agent too. So it's gonna hold all this stuff together and make it nice and sticky. Now, you don't actually have to use a spoon. You can pretty much just use your hands to mix it all together, which is probably a much better idea for me. So let's see how we go with this one. So I'm just gonna mix it all together. Get it all going through. And then what you want to do from here, that is when you're going to add in your uh, peanut butter. So like I said today, I've got the, um, what have I got? I've got the chocolate pin, pro, high protein peanut butter, but choose whatever you want and really just get it in there. Now I've got about nine teaspoons of peanut butter, okay? So it's a lot because it's going to be healthy fats too. And that's why there's going to be so much in here, but that's this is what the base of it's going to be made out of. So that's the most important thing. So I'm going to try and get as much as I can in there. All that chocolate. Chocolate's my favorite, which is why I'm doing this. So you guys can just get normal peanut butter if you want it. What's going on, Jake? And so once you've got all this in there, then what I like to do is I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, just a smidge. And then from here... I'm gonna start mixing this in. Okay, so it's gonna start getting really, really thick now. So you guys will probably get a better mixing spoon than what I'm using here. And then you just wanna mix it all in. You know what, do it another way. I'm just gonna mix it all in like this with my hands so I can get that consistency so I can start getting it through. And this is what's gonna start making up your base. Now, while you're mixing this through and you're trying to get the peanut butter, you're trying to get everything going, that is also when you want to add in just a little touch of water when you can to make that consistency that you want, right? So, I'm going to get a little bit of water. Just a little bit. You don't want too much. You don't want to get watery and runny, so just a smidge water. And then from there, you just keep mixing through again and again. And so this is eventually going to turn out into chocolate balls when you keep going and keep going and keep mixing it in. Basically, I'm gonna spend probably, you know, it's gonna be a while for this obviously all to start molding and meshing and getting that consistency you want to be able to actually make the protein balls. So it will take a little bit of time, but like I said, it's more about doing a little bit at a time, adding a little bit more water until you get that nice and thick consistency that you want out of this. If you guys have any questions in the meantime while I'm doing this, feel free to ask because it's going to be a little bit longer than what I thought it would be. And I'm going to add a little bit more water again. You guys haven't got any questions, okay? So I'll just hang on a little bit longer. Now, I actually think I didn't add enough peanut butter in here, which is why I actually like doing this live, because when I show up and I make mistakes and stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, hey, Jake, what's going on? When I do these things, then I can show you guys like about how to fix it next time, so add a little bit more water. Let's see. Ah, there you go. So you need, yeah, that water's really going to help bind it all together. 
I did not realize that. And I'm not a pro at cooking, guys. Like, I don't do this very often at all. Like, the only reason I was like, you know what? I want something fast. I want to be able to snack on a high-protein thing. And this is where this idea... And this actually came from one of my clients, Shion, who makes these. But he doesn't make them the same, but he makes them a little bit more. So, as you can see, adding just that little bit more water is making it way more sticky, which is good. I'm getting, like, this nice hard base out of it now, which is what you want, if you guys can see that. So, that's getting really hard now, as opposed to what it was before. And then, so you just keep mixing. You just keep going a little bit of water at a time till it gets nice and thick. Because you, really, the thing is too, when you're using protein powder, you also need to make sure there is that little bit of water with it. Because everyone's protein powder is going to differ from you know which one's better, which one's worse, the consistency and stuff like that. So you might need a little bit more protein. You might need a little bit less pro, uh, a little bit more water or a little bit less water. So it's all going to depend on you. Now for me, mine's still a little bit crumbly, so I'm gonna add just a smidge more water until I can really get that consistency that I wanna look for. And another thing what you can do actually, this would be another good time to add a little bit more honey for that binding agent for the stickiness. So I've probably used to be a teaspoon of honey, a teaspoon of water, and Two, three scoops of protein powder. Hey, Brooke, yeah, it is. Oh, it looks great, I know, right? So as you guys can see now, this is, the more water I'm adding, you don't want a lot, but this is turning into a way better consistency now than what I had before. Like, this is really turning into what I want for chocolate balls. Because you know how you need that stickiness? Like, I'm not sure if you guys can, I'll show you in a second, after I get this one going. And another good thing is, probably what I didn't do, is um, put your, Put some oil over your hands, first of all, so that way they're not going to get too sticky. But I made the rookie error of doing that, so my fault, my fault. But as you guys can see now, that's turned into like a cookie dough, right? As opposed to what it looked like before, so that's good. I've actually made a huge mess here, so I'm just going to wipe all this stuff in. And then boom, keep mixing. Now, once you've got this, I'm just going to see if anyone's commenting. No, cool. So, once you've got this consistency going and you're happy with how it goes, which, hey, Cherie, how you doing? What you want to do from there, that's when you get your dark chocolate and you put it straight through. So now, these are proper chocolate protein balls, right? Now I've got my dark chocolate in there. And all I'm going to do from here is just slowly mix it in. Because you want your dark chocolate to go all the way through. You want it to be in every single protein ball. You don't want to be stuck with dark pieces of chocolate just on one or two. So I'm gonna just gently mix this in. This is becoming super, super sticky now, which is what you want, because it's gonna be so much easier to be able to do this soon. So all my Now with the dark chocolate, I've only used a couple of squares. You don't have to use the dark chocolate. You can just use it normally, or you can use some desiccated coconut, Whatever you want to use, pretty much. So it's like, it's really, the options are yours there to how to make these. But the main thing is, with making this protein, um, making these protein balls, is that you want to use the protein powder because you want to make sure that they're high in protein. You don't want to fall for all the things that are out there that are like, oh yeah, super high in protein, but it's only three or four ones. Now, after that, all you want to do, you start making little protein balls out of them, so you guys can see here, all little pieces of dark chocolate and stuff coming out of it, so boom, that's one. And you make as many as you want, okay? So when you make as many as you want, the bigger you make it, the more protein it's gonna have, the less you make it, uh, the, the, sorry, the bigger the ball, the more protein it's gonna have, the smaller the ball, the less protein it's gonna have. So you just mix and match to see how many you actually want to make. So for me, I like higher servings of protein, so I'll make a bigger protein ball. As you can see, I'm just rolling them up. And they're just turning out nice and simple. If you wanna make them pretty, add in some coconut, like I said, some desiccated coconuts, fine. Or some walnuts, crushed up walnuts, almond meal, all those type of things, they're completely fine too. So for me, just making these ones right here, boom, boom. And these are pretty decent size. I think I'm actually going to get a fair bit out of this, which I'm going to be happy about. 
And this is simple, like what is this? One, two, three, four, five ingredients I use, okay? So I use protein powder, cacao powder, coconut flour, protein powder, cocoa, protein powder, coconut flour, cocoa powder, um, honey, and chocolate. Yeah, five ingredients. Easy as that. You know, you don't need much more else than that. And so I'm getting all these out here. One, two, three, four. Probably get about six or seven out of these bad boys, which will be good. So if any of you guys have any other questions in the meantime while I'm doing this too, please feel free to ask because that's what I'm here to help you guys out in the meantime. So if you have any questions about food or anything else, like fitness questions, make sure to ask, post me a comment. I'm going to be here for the next couple of minutes rolling these bad boys out. Now, might have got, these are going a bit saggy and flat at the moment, so it might have been that I did not add enough flour for next time, which I'm going to experiment with. But um, next time, I might even try a different type of protein ball. You know, I'll just see how I go. Just depends on what I want to do. Maybe I'll make a vanilla one. Maybe I'll make a coffee mocha one. But these ones are going to be great when you leave them in the fridge. And then you can just grab whatever you want. Like you grab one a day, you grab two a day. Whenever you need a quick protein hit, that's all you're going to need. Get all this stuff. The last little bit of it. So I've made, for me, I've made six out of these today, okay? And that's not too bad. I mean, I could probably make, I could honestly make about 10 if I wanted to make them a little bit smaller. Xi'an, how you doing, buddy? This is actually um, thanks to you, but these are a little bit different. These ones only have five ingredients and there's no food processing needed. So um, a big shout out to you for giving me this idea to actually do it on a, on a Sunday morning because, well, nearly Sunday afternoon. But it's been good. So like I say, guys, and then once you have them, as you can see here, they're all coming out, so... I'll show you these ones really quickly. As you guys can see, boom, protein balls. They don't look the prettiest, doesn't really matter. Hey, how you doing, Tyler? Um, what do you want to know about asparagus? Anyway, so they're the protein balls, right? Easy as that. And then what you guys can do from there is all you have to do is you put them in the fridge. So I am going to yeah, these are a little bit worse. So I'm going to mash these up, put them in this bowl, and then I'm going to put them in the fridge and come back in a couple of hours. I'll post a photo. So you know what? I'm actually going to make a couple of more. What I'm going to do, I'm going to break these up a little bit, make them a little bit smaller because I think these are a little bit too big. And the best thing is they got that little bit of um, chocolate in there too, so nothing better than chocolate. So yeah, what about asparagus, Tyler? What do you want to know about it while I'm doing this? Ask away, buddy. Ask away. So now I've gone from having six to having... I think I'm going to get ten out of this. So that's five. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting a solid ten out of it. Easy. Okay, so instead of the pumpkin... Oh, right, okay. Um... I'll actually talk to you about that one. Just shut it, Sean. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, I'll actually talk to you about that one. So you can have it instead if you want. Like, there's no real issue about not having it or wanting it. It's not really up to you. Um, but yeah, so now, guys, I've actually got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I've got ten, okay? So if, if you want to make up ten, you just make them a little bit smaller. And that way, you can just snack on them easier. And they're not going to go everywhere. So, boom. Got that one done. Two, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Now I'll add two more in. And you want to make sure, like I said, get the chocolate chips in all of them because if you don't have the chocolate chips, you're going to be really, really angry. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so now, easy as that. They're all laid out. And I'm happy. Like, you know, I can snack on these every single day. I can have them whenever I feel like. I oh, know, they're sticking together. I oh, know, guys. This is why I like being live, because I can show you this stuff when I'm mucking up. So, I'm actually going to lay these out on the table right here. Now, what you do when you finish making them, you actually want to put them in the fridge for about half an hour, and then they're going to sit, they're going to mold up, and they're going to be all good to go. So, that's the main thing. So, I'll get these ones rolled out here really quickly, so they're all on my little baking board. 
like I said, the rookie thing I didn't do was I uh, put oil over my hands first of all, or like anything. So now everything's stuck to my fingers, so I actually can't do anything about that. But you live and you learn, right? You live and you learn. So I'm going to be on here for just a couple of more minutes, guys. So if you do have any questions, make sure to ask right now. And that is nearly it. One more. I've got some big ones here, some small ones. They all range in different sizes, but they do what they can do. And that's the main thing. I actually have never tasted these before too. So it's going to be interesting to actually try and see what these are like and then give you guys some feedback because it's going to be silly if I'm like, well, these tasted obviously terrible. But that's why you also want to use the water too for the liquid because otherwise it's going to taste terrible anyways because you need that mix in. So as you guys can see, two, four, six. Oh, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, three, six, nine. I've got 11. There you go. Look at that. Can't even count. Cool. So I've got all these ones rolled up in a ball. I'll show you guys this one really, really quickly. Boom. There you go. Chocolate protein balls. Easy. Ah, oh, a little bit of flour and rub them between your hands. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, man. Awesome. Thank you for that, Tyler. I'm going to use that next time. So as you guys can see, I just made up 11 protein balls. Really easy. You can make more, you can make less. These are going to be about... If you use three scoops of protein, you're going to get 10, 10 grams of protein per serving when you're using the protein powder and you're also using the uh, peanut butter too. So we're going to pop these in the fridge and I'm going to show you guys these. I'm going to post a comment down below of what they actually look like in about half an hour. So that's the video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the recommendation, Tyler, about um, using flour. If you guys have anything else, make sure to post in the comments below and I'll speak to you next time.